checking them for style hoop and then barbless in this case. Thread I'm going to be using, I'm just going to use a uni thread in brown, dark brown. Now, this is a tungsten, that copper seems to do extremely well for me. Uh, this is a 3mm bead. You could go a wee bit bigger, but this size suits the type of water that I fish. And as well, I'm going to add some lead foil on, just to slightly taper up the body. Now when you start it, now this, this, the grub shape, or the shape I'm looking for, starts from about this area here, down the bend. I want the taper to come up to about maybe 5mm from there. And just start the lead, the lead tape off from that point there, take it right up to the bead. And then come down about, say, three turns and break it off. Very easy to do. You could add a wee bit more weight if you wish, but this is the way I seem to, it seems to work really well. Especially in the pools that I fish. Anyway, once you've done that, start your thread at the bead and then cover your lead foil. Take it down and back up, make sure it's secure. Now, in the way back down, I'm going to tie in some black UTC wire. In this case, it's small. Get to this point here. This is where the body change the colour is. Now, what I've done here, this is, as you can see, i put it the right way round, it's number 16 multi yarn. Now, that's white normally. Now, I've dyed it right, uh, nice bright yellow. You can dye it, it dyes quite easy. Now, I'm going to cut that on the side, full length of the abdomen, or the body of the fly. Take it right down, nice and tight. Now, make sure you get wax on your thread, give you a lot of grip. And then come back up, just check your length, that looks okay. Now see your first turn, you'll get a small lump. Now what I like to do is come in with my nail, just spread them out. And then, just build up your carrot shape type body, just slightly overlay, over. Come over the last turn and work your way up. Something you need to practice. The multi yarn is ideal for this type of bodies. Work your way up and don't be shy, have a good thick body. Get to this point here, cross your thread nice and tight. Trim away the waist and then just watch your thread again, making sure that you tie this down and tidy up. Always like to tidy up and bring the thread back down. Look at the length you're looking for here. You're looking for at least a third. So the body, say that body there is about say ten mil or so in length. You want this the thorax area to be about five mil so that you've got a nice balance in your fly. Then with your brown wire, or sorry your black wire or brown, brown can be used. A fine black sets out much better. Now you're looking for around about, I try and get about 10 or so turns. Try and get them quite straight. And across, bend, 90 degree bend into the wire, and again tie it down. Nice and tight. Bend and break it off. Take the thread back down. Well, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie off. Because what I'm going to do is put some bug bond on the top to basically form a nice shell bank. Now, it's, bug bond is dead easy to use. Everybody's talking about it just now, and uh, I can see why because it was it's so easy to use. The test will be over the time and see how well it lasts on the fly. Uh, so far, I've had no problems with it. So I would certainly recommend it. That should do it. And then, get your UV light. And then set. It only takes about 10 15 seconds or so. It should set. Turn it 
touch to the back of your nail. You get more. Should do it. That's fine. You can leave it just now, and then go back on, and then put on your thorax cover. Now your thorax cover can be, I mean, it, practically anything. It could be a flash, it could be a pheasant tail. Uh, normally I, I like a bit of flash. Now you could use Peril or Mirage. Now this is a Mirage tinsel. This is large. Just going to tie it on the top. Nice and tight. Get a nice blend of rabbit. Or some sort of squirrel. This is squirrel and well, squirrel and rabbit blended together, which I quite like. And then put half the thorax. Just build up. And then what I've got here is centipede legs, and this is a small. Centipede legs are basically rubber legs, which are very popular oh, legs, now. sorry. Just catch it on the side, like a Madam X or whatever, and put it onto the area where you want it to start. Same on the other side. I'm a shy with the length of them. Just it. And a wee bit more dubbing. Slide it up and separate the legs with the dubbing. Just throw them back a wee bit to get them in the position that you like. Tighten up with the dubbing and then and you can take these legs down a wee bit further and then bring your dubbing in front will hold them back. Get them in that position that you like. Bring your thorax cover over. Tighten up. You never really get a neat finish times at the front. And I'll just fold back this. Fold back the mirage. Legs out. Now I'll come in with a wee bit of velcro just to bring out some hair in the front. And then you could put a wee bit of glister or ice stubbing just at the front. And then like super glue here, just rub it onto the thread. Leave it long, just a couple of turns first. And then we'll finish. You'll find that that is solid. It looks better once you've put some of the, the fur into it. You'll always find it looks much better. Hopefully it sits better for you as well. Then what I'm going to do, get a brown permanent pen and mark our colour in the bug bond area. See where it marks it, that's it. Just got to be careful you don't go into the yellow. And then just get a scalpel. Touch the centre area in between the wire, your rib. You just need to touch it. There. It needs to be sharp. Then what I like to do is 
get some fine varnish, some varnish just to finish off the back, make it shinier. Simply just this makes it really translucent. Just take your time. You will maybe touch one or two hairs, but don't worry about it because once they're dry you can pull them back. And there we are. And that there. It's basically just a nice wee bug pattern. I mean the legs are you never get the legs times perfect. I mean in the in the water they take over. They're nice in the water. Um you could as I say add a wee bit more legs if you want. But anyway, it's a bit of fun. Ties well. You have a wee bit of leg there. As you can see in the body a wee bit of gill. And uh the body the back of the fly looks really nice. It's reasonably easy once you start getting into it. A simple fly to tie. And there you are. <laughs>